Hey, what's up guys? Wood here, and this is Woods Motors, where we share with you our passion for all things motor and engine related. But before I get into the story and reveal to you the making of a Scrambler motorbike, I want to encourage you, come and join our community. Like this page, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends. And if you have any projects that you would like us to review or to customize, then you know where to call. But without further ado, let's show you the making of a Scrambler motorbike. All right, so this is just the beginnings of the transformation of our fleet of Scrambling. So in the back of our old beast, we have a little mini beast. Right here is one of our Honda TMXs that we're taking from what it is currently and transforming it into something of a beautiful vision that's gonna bless and make a lot of people happy and have a lot of adventures here in the Philippines for all of our plans. But anyway, just check that out. Can you believe that this actually fits in the back of the ride? It's pretty cool, isn't it? So let's take this beast to the shop. We have made it here. This is my bro, Ra. He's a master builder. We're gonna take this beast out, right? This is its final spot before it gets stripped down and reborn. This is gonna be the last time I'm sitting on this little mini beast looking like this. Because first it comes from this to this. Hey, so exciting day. This is the first part of preparing our little Honda TMX to transform it. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna get this seat cut and we're gonna start to shape the actual pan for where the seat's gonna go. So it may sound small, but it's a big part of the full aesthetic of this build and it's a critical element to get the shape done right so that we can build the rest. remove this whole back end off and this top layer bracket this has just been added is going to be taken off as well in preparation for what's going to be a, a really beefy looking motor and seat and in fact we're looking to extend the swing arm as well by what brother another three inches uh, another three inches sweet brother i'm loving it dude i'm loving the work bro all right you see these old handlebars well we're obviously going to replace it with some tracker scrambler type handlebars but we're not throwing this away. We're gonna reuse this metal and we're gonna put it as part of the extension, the loop part of the seat. Yes, you heard me right. We're gonna take this, an original part, and still keep it on the bike. How cool is that? This is what I call turning something old into something beautiful and beast-like, but we're not wasting anything. That's the beauty of building here in the Philippines. The innovation is so, so high. And you know what? The creativity is endless. So yes, watch out. This is gonna become part of a seat. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You see this? You may be wondering what that is. But not too long ago, this was the handlebar. That's right, the original handlebar for this little Team X. Ryan has taken and repurposed. And you can guess it right. You see this, he's already prepared the seat pan here. And he's created a loop so that we can create the back end of the seat right here. How cool is that? Talk about innovation at its best. Nothing goes to waste here in the Philippines. And the creative minds of these guys, I tell you, never ceases to amaze me. Just imagine, this was the old handlebar. Oh, I can't wait to see this project completed. It's coming together so nicely already. I can see the vision right in front of me being created converted and rebirthed. And et voila, as they say in France. What was once in my hand is now been joined. The full wealth is gonna come in a moment. But you can see this coming to life. It's so exciting. There it is, there's your loop. No longer a handlebar. <laughs> I just want to talk about the craftsmanship and the art behind welding. Can you see a joint? Of course you can't. It looks totally smooth, right? These are two pieces that he's welded together and with his skill set has made it look like there's absolutely nothing. Let me check that out. 
That is amazing. That really, that blows my mind. There is, yeah, you can't see that it was welded together. That's genius. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do some cuts at the same point on each side. And the purpose of that is so that we can bend this loop up a little bit so when you sit, there's that nice little gentle curve up. So that those riders in the back have got a nice little hug and cushion. <laughs> but it's just part of the look as well. It just looks kind of cool. So you imagine the seat, can you see it? Just like that, it's done. Check that out. Just check it out. This is a beautiful seat pad. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna create the seat pad, the foundation on which the brand new custom built seat is gonna go on. Creating a template right now made out of cardboard just so that he can trace the seat pan accurately. Well, you know when they say it's custom built? Well, this is handcrafted at its very roots. He's literally got a big pair of metal scissors and he's cutting out the seat pan out of a very thick piece of metal sheet. Yeah, that's right. That's how we do it up in here in Davao City. And he gets hands of steel. <laughs> literally. Don't shake this guy's hand. He yeah. will crush your hand. <laughs> okay. You see this? I just want to show this off a little bit. You know, the modern way of building a seat pan is using carbon fiber, which is cool, it's modern. But here, we want to go down the steel and muscle route. And just like that, this bike has been transformed bit by bit. The seat pan is now shaped and molded to the frame itself. We've even done a little bit of extra welding just to make it more secure. Now it's gonna go off to the fabricators. We're gonna create the cushioning and the covering just to finish that off at a later time. But first, we've got another bit of dismantling of this frame to do. Okay, so one of the notable things you'll see with a tracker or a scrambler build is that kind of open, raw framework. They don't really have plastic, right? And it creates that kind of uh, just clean look. To me, it's one of my favorite looks. It just looks like metal and motor. Um, so the next step of this dismantling process is taking out the air filter and the battery compartment right here so that we can clear that out. And there's a little bit of a trick because you may wonder if we're gonna take that out, where will they go in the build? We'll just watch out and show you exactly how that's done. So we're gonna take this tank. See that? Simple as that. Next time you see this baby, it's gonna be beautiful. But first, let's head on over to our tank man. You see this old tank, the tanki, as they say here in the Philippines? Excuse all the chickens, that's how we roll. We've got chickens around here. But you see this tank, it's got dents, the color, the stickers, it looks old, right? I just want you to see this, okay? See that? This is before. And watch out what it looks like. Here we go, after. My brother here has done a stellar job. This dude 
is an artist. Seriously, the tank right now, what he's doing is just preparing it for the final coat. It's just a clear coat, right, bro? Yes. To give it its final sheen and shine. So once again, he's taking it down a little bit so that he can spray that on. But the tank, oh, just wait till it's completely done. I mean, it's amazing already, but watch what he's done with this. It's, it's like it's brand new. The dents, can't see them. The color is a beautiful classic blue. Oh, it's gonna look, it's gonna look solid on the ride. This dude is awesome, man. All handcrafted. Yep, beautiful. I don't have to say anything. You can see everything. This brother here, brother, bam. Can you see the dents? Does it look like the same tank? You know it doesn't. Because he's transformed it. And I love the color. Everything about this. Oh, this is exciting. And you know what? I just want to say this. This is, shows you the skills that's here from my city here in Davao City. My brother here has got skills. And I'm proud to say, Dabao This is from Davao City. Yeah, better than the factory, I think. The bike has been stripped of its rims and tires. So out with the old and in with the new. Now check out this sucker. This is gonna look good. Oh yeah. All right, so today's another exciting development day because as you can see and hear, we are spraying the body with primer paint. It's actually a samurai brand, so it sounds like it's straight up ninja. But this stuff is good. It's anti-corrosion primer. And then once the whole frame has been primed, and ready, we're gonna spray it with our black paint. So this is the last time you're gonna see this. Ryan is just showing off a little bit, showing that he's got those samurai kind of skills, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so as you can see, it's this beautiful, nice black finish on there. It's a mix of gloss and matte black, so it's not too shiny, it's not too matted, it's just in the middle, which is what I like. Check that out. Can you believe what this looks like? Remember those hubs? They look brand new. In fact, they look better than brand new. I'm so excited because this is gonna be mounted on this beast. And pretty soon, we're gonna take it on its maiden voyage. I just can't wait, but check that out. I'm pretty proud of those. Today is a super exciting day, simply because the beast is finally being put together. The final bolts and pieces are being attached to this beast so it's ready to fire up and get on the road. To just finish it up, he's gonna attach the tank, the handlebars, the scrambler mirrors, the lights, everything, because the main foundation is already done. This is gonna be so awesome. Come check this out, let's do this. Just like that, the beast is alive! Woo! Hey guys, so watch this space where we take this mini beast out on its first adventure onto the streets. Maybe a little bit to some mountaintop locations or a little muddy locations. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this first take, but let's take this out. See ya! Thank <laughs> you.